What's up guys, welcome to another video. I've just been out charity shopping. I got a whole load of stuff for you. Some picks I handpicked off the shop floor, some other bits I did with a deal out the back, and then some other bits that they were just gonna waste off that I was able to take off their hands. So let's get into the first bits of what I picked up in the shop and then I'll show you everything else downstairs. First thing I picked up, paid £2.50 for this guy. It is a 2020 King Kong Playmates figure. He is electronic as well. His eyes light up, he makes noises. He's fully poseable. His arms will move around, his legs move around. Finish roaring. He's not a crazy one on eBay. Anywhere from like 15 up to £30. Uh, he is supposed to have uh, some sort of like accessory or weapon in his hand but we're missing that so we're not going to get the full price. I'm going to go for $19.99 and then see how we do. The next thing I picked up was these three boxes here and I was a little confused of what they actually were when I first saw them um, and then I saw it says the Tyrac London Frangi Italy right uh, so I opened one up looked inside and there is Ty's Frangi Made in Italy ties, uh, silk woven. These are brand new with the tags as well. I paid four pounds each for each of these. Uh, I've seen them selling online from 15 on the low end up to 30. Again, so similar to the King Kong, uh, but a completely different category. Uh, and I've got three of them. They're all different designs as well. Uh, so I can't just do like a copy and paste listing, but I'll essentially do that and then just change the images. Because I'm sure they're all the same, probably all the same length, all brand new with tags, and they come in the nice display box with them as well. Then I got a couple of clothing pieces. This one is definitely to resell, 100% reselling it. Uh, one Madison Expedition, paid $8.99 for this guy. Uh, let me just show you the label of the jacket there. So if you're ever out there and about, one Madison Expedition. Uh, it's a men's quilted jacket and it does come with like the little metal, what's this called? What's this called? Quilted as you can see all over, really nice condition, zipped pockets and everything. Uh, should be looking at like 35 to 40 on this one. Now this one I picked up for myself actually because I'm really liking the corduroy vibes at the moment. I picked it up for myself and then I thought I'd check it anyway to see what it's like and I'm probably going to have to resell it. Um, I paid $5.99 for it. Corduroy jacket. Really nice. I love this style. $5.99. It is him, London, which I'd not heard of before. Um, and that's him spelled H-Y-M-N, London. Uh, and these were actually on there like selling for like 25 to 30 quid. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to justify keeping that. I might keep it for a bit. Uh, I might keep it and then wear it while it's listed. Just as long as I don't spill or stain it with anything. Typical knowing me. But still, really like this one. I'm probably going to wear it for myself for a little bit and then get it sold on. But for all of those things there, I spent £24.44. Uh, and that's a bargain. Now let me go downstairs and get into the bulk of what we picked up. If we make our way downstairs, we have a whole trolley full to go through right here with you. I did pick up a rug that was going to just be thrown out because they're not able to sell them in the charity shop. And I was able to take it off of their hands for them. So happy days there. Um, it is a Dunelm rug and Dunelm does do pretty well, especially these shaggy rugs. So I'm going to get that one all laid out, try and clean it up as best as I can if there's any mess on it. Uh, and then try and get it sold. Uh, I'm seeing other ones listed for like 50 quid upwards. Some are all the way down, but these kind of shaggy thick carpets, they're on the higher end of stuff. So it might do well off of that one. Then I did pick up this motorcycle jacket, cold black. Uh, it has the shell text membrane on there and it is the Hein Gerke, Hein Greich. I'm not sure how you say that label right there. Made in Indonesia. Nice motorcycle jacket, all padded, got all the bits in there. Should do well on that. Minimum of like 35 quid, maximum of 125, but that's more likely the newer styles. I'll just pull things out of the trolley, try and explain what it is. I'm not sure how much we're gonna get for all of this, but I just wanna show the haul. Uh, I'm not sure if this is complete or not, but it's a quick fix, quick build, Lego style thing. Uh, and I believe it to be a Jaguar. Yeah, a Jaguar I-Pace e-Trophy racing car. Again, not sure if it's complete, probably around a fiver minimum. 
uh, some Wilson tennis balls. These are always good. We've got a dog, Doug the Pug, um, and we run out of tennis balls every now and then. Her current one is pretty destroyed, so let's give her a fresh set, shall we? So these are full of oh, junior cricket jumpers. Some of them are adult, majority of them are junior. They were all on clearance previously, was $23.99, now $17.99. Uh, they're all the Grey Nichols brand, Grey Nichols, and then there's two others which are slightly different brands, uh, and they've got it like embroidered on there as well. Uh, but we should be able to do a nice multi-quantity listing with a load of this. Majority of them are the same sizes, but a few of them are slightly different, so we'll get all those listed up nice and quick, all brand new with the tags. Shouldn't take us too long whatsoever. You may have seen me put on my Instagram story about when I went and picked up loads of Halloween stuff, like Halloween costumes, outfits, wigs, knickknacks, accessories, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and there was a couple more bags for me to collect. So I essentially now have two more bags full of Halloween stuff. Don't you just love it when your iPhone runs out of storage? But as I was saying, we've got a couple more bags full of Halloween stuff, masks, accessories, weird little hats and stuff like that. So we'll add that to the bundle we've already got. A couple Christmas decorations we got from there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hornsey, England. I know you can't really see it there on the camera because of the light, but a Hornsey, England little jar. I've done really well on Hornsey stuff in the past. Uh, so this guy, I'm probably looking at like 25 to 30 quid just for this little jar. Don't sleep on Hornsey, people. Then I found some awesome stuff, which I couldn't believe was in there. Beanie Babies, little official club bag full of stuff. Beanie Baby in there, sealed cards and everything. I'm not sure how much that goes for, but really cool. Uh, and then not just one, not just two, three, four, but five sets of Beanie Babies heart protectors. Now these sell for a tenner to 15 quid each. So I've got five of them, so it's like 50 quid just there. Then if you thought that was cool for Beanie Babies, wait until you check this out. I have someone's entire Beanie Baby collection. Some of them are brand new with tags, sealed with the bags. Some of them are limited edition and rare. Some of them are common. We're either gonna stick them all on eBay in a massive bundle, or we're gonna do an epic whatnot show with them. What would you guys like to see? Let me know down in the comments. Then, if you thought that that bag was cool, wait until you see this. I have another box full of Beanie Babies. Some of them are rare. I think this guy goes for around 25 quid. Uh, this one's like a pound to a fiver. This one's like 15 quid. Uh, some of them are still brand new in the box and like from McDonald's. Uh, if I bundle those together, I'm probably looking at a decent set. But yeah, oh, the box is falling apart now. I've still got some more to go and I paid 80 pounds for this whole bundle. So our money is well safe and we're gonna be in the profit in no time. Oh my God. <laughs> really funky hat that. Oh, I bet I can get it on. Little sport bum bag. Thought I'd stick that on whatnot. Someone's gonna want it. I quite like it. This is another bag. This is the second bag of all the Halloween stuff. So there's like sailor outfits and donkey outfits and Captain America outfits, all of that sort of stuff in there. Mainly this was for me to sort of stick up in the attic, save it for like eight to nine months, and then get it all listed nice and early for next year's Halloween. And then the final item that I picked up today was a second leather motorcycle jacket. This one is better than the first one as well. So the brand on this is Risha or Risha or however you say it. It's got the full on plastic padded shoulders on there, padding all the way through the jacket. This one is leather and has a whole like mesh mix inside. The other one just has bits of leather on it. It's not full leather. Um, so this one, we can ask a lot more for it. I think a minimum of like 70 pounds on this guy. Looking at other listings and the similar ones like it, the low end is 70 quid and they go all the way up into like 200, 250. But I guess at that point, you're looking at brand new. This is still pre-owned. I paid 10 pound for this jacket alone and I'm looking to see 70 pound of a minimum back. Let me know in the comments, would you spend 10 pounds to be making 60? Or is that too high of a price for you to spend in the first place?
I've been trying to improve and grow my business by spending a little bit more on those sought after items that they're gonna sell and make a bigger profit. They might have a faster sell through rate than normal or the other lower end things I used to pick up. Um, and that's why I'm happy to sort of pay £10 for something like that that I could make a nice margin on. It sells through quite quickly. There's lots of similar solds um, that I can base my value on, basically. But yeah, that's the move I'm trying to make at the moment. Even with free fees on clothing and you can make more profit by spending less and have, have like more items at lower values and try and make some money that way, I still think that this period of free fees is gonna end after Christmas. So there's no point in me filling my store with loads of cheap stuff to try and sell it quick. I might as well keep on going for that mindset and the idea of paying a little bit more for that better stock. And I think overall that's gonna increase the health of my business, my store on eBay, and just mean that I've got more profit to play with at the end of the day. But just a brief overlook again of everything that we picked up today. Halloween, Halloween, Beanie Babies, Beanie Babies. Brand new with tags, cricket jumpers, leather jackets, some toys there, uh, a rug, all sorts of bits and bobs, more Beanie Baby stuff galore. I think we're going to do really well on this bundle. It's now just getting to processing it all. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Thank you very much for joining me. And if you haven't had your fix of Tommy Trades yet, just click this video right here and enjoy some more. Catch you in the next one. Peace.